year 2024 stroke 2025. My name is Oluwale Aboyade. Some people call me Aboyade Wale. Now, um, you students, I mean, this set of students, you guys, are the third set of students to have taken creativity and design at Kotna University. Yes. The very first set of students did all of this. And you can see the page of social media. They created a lot of stuff. I'm sure some of you are aware of all that. Now, also, also, I remember that last year, um, I had the opportunity to go to other levels and I did believe 200 or 300 levels just to introduce what the class is all about. Well, in any case, uh, today will be our registration and our introduction, okay, to the class of creativity and design for the undergraduate here at Cognac University. That's 2024 to 2025. And we have a team. The team, you must know right from the beginning. Our team is Wellby Elgobin. Wellby Elgobin, that's the team. You cannot design, you cannot create without a team. Okay? You must have a purpose. There must be a reason why you are creating. Okay? Apart from having a reason to create, there must be a result. So the result, the end goal, to achieve a state of well-being, healthy state of being. So, as the rest are coming in, I'm going to now start the process. Uh, okay, a lot of guys are coming in. I believe they said we have about 80 students to start the 2024, 2025 section. Uh, so, you guys are the third set of creativity and design here. We've had uh, three sets of postgraduates, um, and then. Three sets of undergraduates. Come in, come in. Yeah, it's ten. Come in. Let's go sit down. Please sit down. Now, as the rest are coming in, as the rest are coming in, what we are going to do is, you already know what the team is. The theme for this class is welding healthy state or being. I'm sure every one of us wants to achieve a state of being healthy and being well. That's the goal of life. There's no other uh, result than that. So what we're going to do now, what we're going to do now is we're going to creatively, using creativity and design, to register everybody in class. Our creativity and design starts from the very moment you walk into class. This class is not an ordinary class. It's a class that also acknowledges the presence of the Creator. And we're going to also let you understand how that works in the creative spirituality aspect of creation. Now, creativity and design is all about coming up with originality to solve both a local or a global problem, to empower yourself and others. Creativity and design is also ability to be able to come up with original ideas that can become your own identity in time and space of creation. Now you have to understand, without space, there's no creation. If we don't have the space to call the class of creativity and design, are we going to be able to sit and meet and be able to talk? Space is very important in creation. Okay, that's me taking the undergraduates and the postgraduate class here at Kofra University. And I, for those of you who are just coming, my name is Uluwale Aboyade, Aboyade Uluwale. And um, you can see that's our Facebook page called uh, Creativity and Design. And you can see all of the things we've done over there from the very first time we started. We document everything. I have a camera in class here. Again, let me emphasize this, if you have a digital device, a camera, a smartphone, you are free to record this class. Yes. You can record the class from beginning to the end and keep it as your property. Okay? That's why I told you this class is not an ordinary class. This is not a class where we are afraid of what we are teaching you. We want you to share it with China. We want you to share it with America to compare the intelligence of its creation. Okay, so not 
learning is even in this class. If you have intelligence that is superior, bring it to this class. Come and test it here. Okay? That is what we do here. So, we can see that. So, also, you can see that um, um, this is the space of creation. And you can see what they say here. They say, do something creative every day. Do something creative every day. And that allows me to create a pep poem. When you write a poem, you are creating. Even in the Bible, the Bible said in John 1 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word is language. Without a language, there's no word. Without a word, there's no language. When you write a poem, you are creating. And I have a poem to share with you every day. I'm writing. Day by day, I'm creating. And yes, today, I'm happy. That's a poem. Describing what I am. You understand? So I have created that because I have said it and I look it. Now, you have to do that. Even if you're a software engineer, if you're a robotic engineer, if you're a medical doctor, you must be able to create. Creation will allow you to design. It will ignite your design thinking and help you to experience what you call user's experience. All of that we're going to go through in this class in 2025. So that's me. And some of my background is that I have completed courses in screenwriting, creative, creative thinking, I have completed courses in uh, fundamentals of global design, intellectual property law, which is something we're going to talk about in this class. Most of you, you create things, and sometimes you put it on Instagram, Facebook, and people steal it. Sometimes you don't see your Facebook page again, your Instagram, and you want to pull it down. It's because of copyright laws, okay? And we'll touch on those things. I also have a diploma in creativity and innovation, which is also associated with this class. I am a student of Fuse University in Orlando, Florida, which is in the university of, and that's why I have my uh, degree course before I even coming down to Nigeria. And I worked at television stations and so on in America before coming over here. My mom was former registrar of this university, Copter University, and also Landmark University, which is also an achievement because she's the first female to become the registrar of both private universities. And today, she is number one. So, I also have a certificate in ethical leadership and entrepreneurship. And uh, psychology of art and colors, the science of reprogramming your mind or design mind. Also, um, master of interactions and impact on users' experience is also there. And uh, this is the poem I talked about page by page. I'm writing day by day, I'm creating. Yesterday, I am happy. So, I'm certified in over 12. You know, certificate courses. Also, I will encourage you guys, after you finish this class, with your design thinking experience and user's experience in this class, you can do certificate courses on those subject matters to help you uh, move forward in your endeavor. So to go on, now we're back to creativity and design, and we're going to start design immediately. In this class, every day we're going to be creating. It's not about money. It's about what? Creation. Where, and the reason why we're able to do that is because we're designing your mind with design mind. Ability to see value where others don't see value. Ability to identify opportunities where others don't identify opportunities. Ability to be spiritually and physically creative. That's the nature of the creator or the ascetic of the creator. The sense of stability of the creator. Aseity is A-S-E-I-T-Y. You can Google it. It's a word that is new to most of you. Okay? A-S-E-I-T-Y. You can Google it. Okay? So when you read about that, you will understand that yes, it does exist. And let me just tell you this. You are in a spiritual ground here at Copter University. How many of you know that? Copter University is a uh, spiritual ground. That's why we go to church. That's why we're building the largest ark over here. Everything they are doing in that ark is purely creativity and design. How many of you agree to that fact? Everything, as a matter of fact, all the subjects, all the discipline in the world, including medicine, is under creativity and design. And in this class, we also have a team that backs up our well-being healthy state of existence, which is teach experience, not just theory. Teach experience, not just theory. And we're going to start designing the experience of this class from beginning to 
the end till we get to our EDS day next year, I will be able to showcase some of the things we do in this class. You will not know we are designing if you are not participating. So your participation will help you to understand the creative process and the creative journey we are having in this class. Okay? So now what we are going to do is every one of you is going to creatively register yourself. So please, I don't know how many of you we have in class today. I have some tools here you can use to do the work. Don't worry. Don't worry. So I brought some envelopes. I brought some envelopes. At the end of the class, you will still write your name. Okay? Physically, you write your name. But before you do that, I've given you some words as to what this class is all about. So what we're going to do is, please, I want you to sit in twos just like this. I want you to sit in twos or three. Three, three in a group or maximum of four in a group. Maximum of four in a group because group, group experience is also good for the agile team. We're going to talk about agile team and so on. There's a lot to talk about in this class. But we're going to use practical means of doing so. More so as it relates to the African space. Even when we talk about design thinking and user's experience. Let me just tell you now, at the end of this class, there's no intelligence in the world that will beat this intelligence. That's the truth of it. Okay? Yes, you can manipulate it, bring it here, and come and present it. You cannot manipulate creation here. Creation here will be visible. Intelligence that is not visible is not intelligence. That's destruction, that's corruption. Okay? Intelligence that is not visible is not intelligence. Even the Bible spelled that out in John. It said, in the beginning was the word. The word is language. That word became light. Light allows us to see colors. Colors that you know came from light. Without light, there's no color. If you take away the light from your eyes, you are pretty much blind. You cannot see what we call beauty. So, ability to understand that light comes from the creator and the colors that we are using to design comes from that light is the presence of that creator even in what we call the omnipresence and the omnipresent of the creator. That's why this class is not an ordinary class. We are combining both creative spirituality, creative entrepreneur and marketing entrepreneur. And you will understand that we have our own original language in this class. We are going to start from the issue of creativity. We are going to allow you to understand the language of creation as it relates to creation in all dimensions. So today, the first thing we are using is space. How many of you understand that an envelope is a space? How many of you believe envelope is a space? Yes, envelope is a space because it has ability to contain what? A product, right? Anything that can contain something is called what? Space. space. So most of you don't know that. You didn't know that. Most of you don't know that, but that's your reality. And you will start by creating your name on that space. Without space, there's no creation. Okay? Without space, there is no what? Creation. And you will see how space is relevant in all of the dimensions of creation. In the Bible, remember when he said, let there be light. He was creating the light to see what is this. So, please, pair up, pair up, three and uh, maximum of four in a group, maximum of four in a group, and what you're going to do, listen very well, what you're going to do, uh, I will give you an example. Uh, 
uh, this particular student on a the value of this envelope, the value of this small envelope is no more than 10 naira. Okay? That is when it is planned like this. Now, as a creative entrepreneur, once you add something to this envelope, be it an artistic expression, an artistic drawing, be it a content, and the content could be anything, and I will show you other example, the value of the envelope will move from 10 naira to any other value in any other currency. For example, this particular envelope now, when it's like this, it remains at 10 naira. Once it gets to this, it becomes a value greater than 10 naira. Remember now, the student that did this is gone. You guys are learning from it. He or she has created an educational value by designing on a 10 naira envelope. And left it behind. She's gone, she's graduated. Are you seeing how to create value now from 10 naira? Greater than 10. If I have to pay her for copyright for using this envelope, how much do you think I'm paying her from the side of this class? Is it not greater than 10 error? Yes. That is creative entrepreneur. Now, once you create the envelope like this, and somebody now starts selling a mass and mass producing it, that is the marketing entrepreneur. So you see that we have creative entrepreneur, the ones that create. Marketing the entrepreneur, the one that markets. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. But you can just, the idea is for you to write your name. As a group, your names must be there. All of your names must be there with your matric number. Also, once I start sharing the envelope, please sit with somebody. You can sit alone. Sit with somebody because you will be coming to pick colors, two colors to design. You can write your name and everything. You must be able to write your name and your matric. After you do that, you come to the front of the class and then you come and sign and write your name again with your matric number. So sit with somebody, please. I will start sharing the envelopes now, please. 